throughout my life, I have been asked about the secret to success. People say, Daryl, how do you do it? Back in high school, how did you do junior achievement and go to the national conference and travel with an interracial group across the South in the 60s singing for NASCAR? Walk on a Division I university and earn a letter and a scholarship. Found a fraternity in, in college and becomes one of the best in the USA. Raise funds and build two houses and go on a mission trip to Guatemala or help develop a local crop walk from nothing to one of the biggest in the USA riding a bicycle 500 miles to help the effort, or write a grant and secure initial funding to form allied churches of Alamance County, write and secure almost 200,000 to revamp local facilities, plan and implement a 250-year history celebration and movie, carry out a 156 presentation around the world, put in a career fire service at age 50, 60, 70, serve four local churches 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 47 years with people and events. Of course it all comes from God. Of course it's based on faith. Of course all things are possible through Christ who gives us strength. But Daryl, tell us the practical stuff where the rubber meets the road. Moving from one house to another, I'm always transferring the signs that I have. I had them whether I was uh, in the fire service or, or training for the Olympics. I've carried them with me. One that says, the past is for us to remember, the present is for us to explore, the future is for us to imagine. Never stop remembering, never stop exploring, and always continue to imagine. There will never be another now, I'll make the most of today. There'll never be another me, I'll make the most of myself. Take advantage of this time. Unless you try to do something beyond what you've already mastered, you'll never grow. You must be willing to step forward, step out, and move into new areas. The person who succeeds is not the one who holds back fearing failure, nor the one who never fails, but rather the one who moves on in spite of failure. Always get up when you're knocked down and move forward. The difference between doing something good and something great is attention to detail. Pay attention to the little things, how they come together, particularly in people's lives. Surely you know that many runners take part in a race, but only one of them wins the prize. Run then in such a way as to win the prize. I harden my body with blows, bring it under complete control to keep myself from being disqualified after having called others to the contest. The Apostle Paul even knew that back in those days. Be willing to put in the work and do the effort. Far better it is to dare mighty things to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to take rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy much nor suffer much because they live in the great twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. Teddy Roosevelt. Be willing to risk everything and you can truly achieve anything. The heights that great people reached and kept were not obtained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward through the night. Be willing to put in long hours and do the work. You see, low aim, not failure, is a crime. Shoot for the stars if you reach the moon, it's still a good trip. But do it now. The word now spelled backwards means one. The victory is always won now by what you're doing now. So, in Acts 2.17, in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see vision and your old men will dream dreams. No matter what age you are, you're not off the hook. It's time for you to get busy, to have the visions and dream the dreams. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired and weary. For his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary, increases power to the weak. Even youths will grow tired and weary. Young men will stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Dream your dreams. Get ready to soar. Pay attention to God's word and his spirit in you. He has something for you each day. And that is one of the secrets to success. Your dream can come true, but are you willing to dream? Are you willing to have the vision? Are you willing to put in the effort and follow these practical steps? God will back them up. There are two lasting bequests 
we can hope to give our children. One is roots and the other is wings. Today I'm dedicating this daily dose of Daryl to the two people who gave me great roots to live in and gave me great wings to leave the nest and fly. That would be my mother and father, Randolph and Christine Peebles. I dedicate this practical secret to success to them in the spirit of God and to you and your betterment. So, now go out and have a great day. Make it a great day. It is the only one you have, and I know God will bless you. Put these practical signs that I've carried through the years into action. God bless you. Thank you.